Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great day. In this video, we're going to check out these awesome 3D print designs that I've got on the bench here. Uh, now, these are designs that any PC hobbyist out there will be glad to see. These are test benches for AT, Micro ATX, and Mini ITX form factor motherboards. Let's check them out. So these are models that have been designed by Amber, uh, better known as Tech Ambrosia. She did a really good video announcing these on her channel a couple of weeks ago and I was super excited to print them out myself. I've been looking for something like this for a while and I'd sort of given up hope, but I'm really glad that she's put the effort into creating these, so let's take a closer look. All three designs look really nice and were fairly easy to print with only a couple of pieces of support needed for some of the overhanging parts. I really love that Amber has managed to make these as single piece designs. It makes it so easy to print and use these things, it's, it's just awesome. Every other attempt at a 3D printed testbed that I've seen has needed either multiple parts to be printed, or worse yet has needed you to source extra pieces to be made out of wood or metal. That's not to say that these are bad designs, but a model that you can just print and use straight away has its own benefits. Aesthetically, all three of these designs are very similar, other than a couple of small changes to suit the different kinds of motherboards. The AT form factor unit has a much smaller cutout here for the keyboard connector when compared to the more familiar rear I.O. cutout for the other two. Looking at the Micro ATX and Mini ITX versions side by side, you might struggle to see the difference. It's right here. The ITX version has a lower cutout here to support a slightly different expansion card position when compared to the Micro ATX version. All of the designs feel really solid, though I did manage to break off part of the PSU section on my Mini ITX print, but that was down to me being rather ham-fisted rather than any sort of problem with the design itself. That said, now that this piece is broken off, I can't see an obvious reason why it was there in the first place. It's just a guide for where the PSU will sit, so a small lip like what I've ended up with will work just as well. The other two feel really solid and printed out really well on standard PLA filament. I printed the Micro ATX one with a higher level of infill as I wanted it to be really strong as it's the one I'll use most often, and honestly I think I could take a hammer to this thing and it would be okay. Putting the Micro ATX unit through its paces you can see that the board sits really nicely on the bed and secures down with standard PC case screws, which are sharp enough to cut a thread into the standoffs. Providing you don't over tighten these and strip the threads, you should get multiple uses out of the same print. With the board installed on its own, it feels kind of top heavy, but once the PSU is installed on the other side, it's really firm on the desk, and I don't think there's much chance of you knocking it over. There's also these two mounting holes over here, about where the CPU sits. I guess you could use this to mount a fan for some VRM and memory cooling. Or you could even go as far as to install a 120mm all-in-one liquid cooler, though I'd worry a little about the added weight of a radiator on just the two mounts. Now early on in the video you may have spotted these little pieces on the bench. These are spacers to allow you to use all of the expansion card slots on a Micro ATX board. You see, the first slot is supported by this top part of the case, so you can add a card there and it's no problem at all. But what if you wanted to add a card into a different slot? That's where these little blocks come in. You just pop one on the top of the case here, and then you can add an expansion card to any of the slots above without worrying about it sagging. Amber has been kind enough to provide designs for these across multiple slot spacings, so you should be able to use any slot on your board. But what if you wanted to use multiple cards in your testbed? That's where these little tiny modules come in. These are similar in purpose, but they sit firmly atop the I.O. shield for your expansion card and allow you to stack multiple cards on top of another, even with gaps in between them. It's not a perfect solution by any means, but I do like it for its simplicity and the ability to quickly shuffle things around, which is kind of what a testbed should be. So overall, what are my thoughts on these designs? Well, I love them. Ambo has done a really good job, and because the designs are shared online, anyone can download and improve them. 
I'm already thinking about adding a panel section over here at the front so I can permanently mount a power button and status LEDs. And the space above the PSU here is crying out to have a mounting point for a 3.5 inch hard disk, though that one might prove more difficult to implement. In any case, I think these are brilliant designs, and ones that are much needed in our community and that Amber should be very proud of. If you're a fan of this kind of content, I highly recommend you check out Amber's channel Tech Ambrosia. It's linked in the video description and her video announcing these designs is on the bottom left of your screen now. Check it out, I, I, I love her videos and I'm sure you will too. I hope you also enjoy these awesome designs at least as much as I'm going to. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.